latitude minus 27.83, longitude 162.32, prepare for surface operations. Launch surface recon vehicle with starter loadout. Finally made it home. All right, yeah, I just slugged in, and everything is here. <laughs> so let's see. Just watch the way he draws a sword. Of <laughs> quick, instant death. I literally never even knew what hit him. Now there's a Ship guy who launching to orbit. He's a photographer. He's a bit of a chubby guy. I think he was the same one who played uh, Peter Pettigrew or whatever in uh, Harry Potter. And if you look behind him, you'll see an older gentleman wearing a, a cap. Just in front of ground clothing, a little bit of I think that's, what's his name? Billy Connolly, I'm not sure. Commander, alert. Hull damage is at 74%. Let's do an experiment and see if they disappear when they jump out. God, I love the heat sinks on this thing. I don't think I'm gonna use the respiration though. Who knows that might. This is such a big, beautiful ship. I, uh, I really like the counter too. It's super comfy to play around in. Wow. What is up with that? Huh. 
Slide completed. Nothing. Boop. You got that? You got that on video? Good? Bizarre! You got the evidence? Screenshot captured. A lot, A lot of them that are erupting are, uh, uh that, that I can, can see are kind of on the hills and, and stuff. stuff. Is there a timing, like uh, when the, the planet faces the sun, do they start to erupt, and when it goes into darkness, do they shut down or whatever? Does it have... Screenshot captured. Ship launching to orbit. Kind of launcher fighter. I have that idea. Oh, ouchie. Yes. <laughs> Make the spinning stop. Okay, I'm lucky I'm not in VR. That'd be a uh... 
the G eighty seven. Well, I had it on. The G eighty seven has terrible problems with uh, impacts, so it's possible to get into an irrecoverable spin unless somebody actually like comes and nudges you. The useless hollow me function. That mountain over there is very blue. Tear right. Actually, I'm gonna go check that out. Prepare to take controls. Ready for deployment. I'll have the full commander. Will do, commander. Let me know any further orders. Because if they get keep the uh, sixty one point five whatever percent gain on uh, optimal mass, it'll be like it'll push my cutter like forty light years. So yeah. Mine's a 35 right now, so it'd be an acceptable gain to... I just, uh, do not really... want to think about dragging all my ships back to the bubble and re-engineering. Oh man, that, that one gave me a very good push. Holy moly. My ship's probably about to dismiss, so... Nope, I, uh, it'll be distance. Because I uh, launched it off of a geezer. Open us. Yeah. fairly close actually. Who no damage. Oh, do we? <laughs> A boot. Or mumble something about getting Tim's. Made it up. Ugh, 
God, I hate it when it's flat planes and the rocks are big enough to give you issues. Yes. <laughs> Go, my gallant steed. <laughs> care. It's not gonna like hurt me. This is hilarious though. Unless I slide off. Yeah. I think I'm hanging like half off. Oh yeah, let's get a bail. <laughs> Before uh, <clears throat> anybody gets hurt by that. Oof. I did. <laughs> that was, that was, um I forgot who was piloting it though, they smacked it into the ground. <laughs> yeah. So I went from 30 fighters to 29. Not a big deal. It's pretty actually, but really funny. Yeah, the Imperial Fighter has the same problem. You can't like rotate it when you're on the ground. Just, oh, should give us landing gear? Nope, I'm actually trying to land on my ship. Oh no, no, oh, 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 and I flew off of it, dang it. <laughs> 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 